All right, welcome to today's video. Today's video, we are going to install the AEM air fuel ratio gauges in my Jeep, getting ready for the supercharge install because I want to be able to monitor my air fuel ratio in the Jeep because it's a DIY project. And the last thing you want to do is run it lean and burn up the engine. But anyways, this is a pretty simple install. The hardest part about this job is just going to get your bungs welded in your exhaust. So let's get to it. I just drilled two small holes in the downpipe. And we're going to have to drill a bigger hole. Die grind it out so I can get the O2 bung in there. And we start welding those up. O2 sensor mounts are in. Just going to weld them into place. And we can go on to the next step. The hardest part about this job is probably getting the O2 sensor bungs welded in. When I installed mine, I was putting in a brand new pipes, which was another story in itself. But I was able to weld the bungs in beforehand. Because it says you're supposed to be about 18 inches down from the manifold. So I that's the absolute best location I could put them because your pre-cats are here. And if I would put the O2 sensors after the pre-cats, I'm pretty sure the readings won't be as accurate. So I did what I had to do. We're going to have to monitor it and see what's going to happen. But that is that. Once you have your O2 sensors put in, you need to route it and keep the wires away from the hot exhaust. On the Jeep TJ here, I got mine coming up through here. I think I'm gonna remove this plastic port right there and move them through. Then you gotta find a place to mount them. I bought, I bought the tag pillar gauge, so I'm gonna mount them right up there. Here's the tag pillar gauge right here. Two air fuel ratios for because both banks on the headers are separate, so I want to monitor the air fuel ratio on both. So I'm going to go clean all the dust off that pillar. And we're going to stick that up. We're going to try this again. I bought this Scotch Extremely Strong Adhesive. I bought it before I even thought about installing this because I looked at the original 3M tape. I thought that's not going to stick where it's shit. And I'm right, it didn't. Because there it is right there on the ground. So now we're going to try this stuff out. What a load of fucking shit. That stuff doesn't even stick on this fucking pillar. That's even after I fucking wiped her down, make sure the dust was off. So now we're gonna take it off. We're gonna fucking bolt that bitch on there. Fuck you. Fuck you. What I did right now is I put one stainless screw there and one in the middle at the bottom. You gotta be careful uh, where you put them because not a lot of depth and space in there. So don't really like the way how these gauges sit down low. I want them to sit up higher. But then the cables come down through here. Then there's three torque spits here, and I was able to pull this panel out enough to get the wire stew drop down to the bottom. Now we're going to remove this panel and see where we can start wiring it in. I need to feed the wire through, so I remove that little plug right here. And what I'm going to do is I got a hole saw, and I'm going to hole saw right through the middle. And then we're going to try to find a piece of rubber and make a gasket. So I ran my wires through here, drilled the hole through, like the hole saw, like I said. Uh, wires are all set up. We're ready to rock and roll. All right, let's go do the easy part now. Two wires to hook up, red for positive, black for ground, and those gauges are ready to rock and roll. So I just got it wired in right now using weather packs. You can ground, you can pretty much ground wherever you want off the frame. Um, the power source. You can power source it wherever you want. If you want to hook it up to the battery and have a relay to connect it to an accessory that goes on and off, that's fine. Um, basically, if you want to connect it to any ignition on source, it doesn't really matter where you connect it. <clears throat> it's all a matter of preference. And sorry about the rat's nest because I got my um, 12 volt, 12 volt guy in cab winch controls. And I also added a wireless module too to hook it up. So you can see right there, that's why it's all that extra wiring. So now we're gonna uh, tape everything back up and put it away. Now you wanna tape these wires off because I think the blue ones are for five volt and the white ones are for data cable or something. So I just got it fired up right now and it's trying to keep itself at like 14.7, which is good. There's a live shot of them operating right there, trying to keep the 14.7. Gonna come up this hill. And then we're gonna kick her out of closed loop to open loop. There's 
open loop right there. That's how you tell if you're an open loop. Closed loop. Open loop. You know what time it is? It's motherfucking beer time. That's what time it is. That job is done. Time to drink a beer. Installing the air fuel ratio gauges is pretty straightforward and simple. Like I said, the hardest part is getting those bungs welded in and then I guess maybe trying to find a power source depending on how you want to operate it. And that's it. Easy as pie. Plug them in. Away you go. Fucking get a blowjob from a hooker. That's all I can say. If you have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, thanks for watching.